my back and my shoulder has been hurting me for nearly three months already. Really? Yeah. Um, I was okay during the day, but when it was night time, I couldn't sleep because the pain was there. So now, how do you feel now? I feel much better now. So move there, do what you couldn't do, move your head there. No more pain? Never again. You are healed. God bless you. I'm having a problem on my arms, you know. Okay. Mostly at night, I can't even sleep because uh, a lot is getting heavier, you know. I turn it up and down. But when I came here, um, Pastor and you, when you're praying, you know, I feel something that maybe is releasing there. So I believe that God has healed me. Yeah, so move there, do what you, you, f you feel free now. Amen. You are free indeed. God bless you. Amen. It wasn't well, and the doctor told me it's kidney stone. I've been to hospital about two weeks since that my, 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 I couldn't walk properly. Walk properly. Uh, yeah, my, my knees is all always my 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 my, my feet is in on the sofa. Really? Yeah, I cannot do no, yeah. no do what you couldn't do. Go ahead. Turn to them, turn to them, show them. Yes, the <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You couldn't do that. No. Amen. Now stop jumping. <laughs> that there is nothing too hard for God. Nothing. What you cannot do, God can do for you. A very good morning. May God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a pleasure to be back with your program, New Chance of this Monday. And this is not just a Monday or a beginning of a week, but of a special week that we are living at the Universal Church. Especially for you who have woes in your life, you know, impossible problems, situations in your life that uh, are impossible for you to overcome. Like the Bible says, and if you read it in the book of Joshua chapter 6, that Jericho was secure and were impossible to, broke, to break those walls. And for seven days, the Bible says that God command Joshua and the army of Israel to walk around Jericho. And for seven days, the people march around Jericho. On the seventh day, they walk seven times, and on the seventh time, they, they cry out. They, they shout with a loud voice, and the, and the walls fall down. This is the week where we are determined that the walls that are in your life, the problems that are in your life, that are stressing you, taking your peace, sometimes even discourage you. Sometimes you woke up today, you are discouraged, you are thinking like this one more week, um, going back to work because you are frustrated with the problem that you are facing. I would like you to invite you for you to stay with us and see what God has been doing here at the Universal Church. See what God has been doing in the lives of the people who believe. Because faith comes through believing in the Word of God. And when you believe, God honors you. Like we were mentioned about the story of Jericho, the people believe, Joshua believed, he obeyed. And the moment that he obeyed and he believed, the walls, they fall down. When you do your part, God does his part. If you'd like to be in contact with us, if you are desperate, you need a prayer, you need to talk to us, below your screen there is our contact number. You can watch now testimonies of people who believe and their lives were totally transformed. I used to suffer from really, really bad migraine headaches. I was very depressed. Um, I didn't see much point in living and I used to constantly go to see clairvoyance. In the end I became addicted to the tarot card readings because I was always hoping that they would tell me something positive but a lot of the time they kept telling me that somebody was going to die in my family and you know I never heard what I really wanted to hear but I just kept going back with that hope that one day I will hear exactly what I want to hear when they open the cards. So things weren't getting any better. But one day someone invited me to come to the um, spiritual cleansing therapy sessions and in the spiritual cleansing therapy sessions I began to learn what to do, you know, how to stop 
you know, stop all the negativity that was surrounding my life because I felt like there was a heavy cloud around me. And through the sessions, it's like that cloud started to lift and the depression started to go, the migraine headaches stopped, I stopped crying every night, I stopped feeling suicidal, um, and things just changed around. And today, I don't have any of those problems anymore. I'm happy, I'm not depressed, I don't have headaches, I don't need to go to see a clairvoyant now, because I'm really happy with my life and I have so much hope for my future. I went to the hospital and the doctor said to me, look, it's, uh, it's, you, there's no cure for this disease, but we're gonna prescribe you some, some, some medicines. And I said to him, look, why are you gonna prescribe me something that is incurable? You're just gonna make me feel heavier and heavier, you know? I don't want this. So many times I called my wife from work and I said, look, I'm gonna end it tonight, you know? And she was in tears, she, she couldn't bear it. One day she passed, she was on a bus, she passed the church. From there on, I think it started. And then she kept on going, going. And then she invited me. And I said, that time I said, I don't want to know about God. I don't want to know nothing. You know, my problem is greater. Like, God cannot fix. And uh, she invited me and I said, no. And then one day I said, you know what? I'm going to go. Even though I didn't understood, God touched me. I got down in my knees. I said, now nah, God, I don't, I can't live like this. You know, I used to go to the gym before. I used to work out. I used to do so many things. I was very active. Now, for the past two years, uh, I haven't been active. I couldn't, I couldn't do the things I used to do. Um, I'm moody, you know, I'm stressed. I don't want, I don't want this. And within a month after I received my, my healing, it was gone and then not immediately but it, it, you know it took time you know day by day and it was gone and I was like wow it's, it's gone I'm back to normal again you know I'm much more stronger I'm I have new organs it's wonderful it's wonderful I couldn't the doctors I went back to the doctors and uh, when I told them they couldn't believe they said look we have a list of people who have this this disease and they are they are suicidal they they cannot live with this. And you are free, how did you? And I told him, I said, look, come to Universal Church. That's where I found God and God healed me. We are back with you. You saw what God has been doing in the lives of those who believe. Today, Monday, is the day to break the walls in your financial life. So if you are in debts, if you are unemployed, you give one step forward to behind, your life is completely upside down. I would like to invite you for you to join us on Monday now, Monday now at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning is our first service in a few hours. We're going to have our first service at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and also at 7 p.m. and uh, 4 o'clock for those who speak Portuguese. You are our guest to join us here at the Birgias Gotten 106. If you'd like to know more information about us, you can visit our website www.uckg.sc and surely that a new life is waiting for you. God has a new life for you. Doesn't matter your situation, doesn't matter your problem, God has a new life for you. And if you give your step of faith, surely that will transform your life. And this purpose of Jericho, we're going to live during this week. Today we are praying for financial life. Tomorrow we're going to pray for your family. Uh, Wednesday we're going to pray for, for those people who are weak, because of the choices that they have been making in life. Thursday, the family love life. Friday, the deliverance. Saturday, the, um, we have the impossible, uh, impossible problems, not those who have impossible problems. And Sunday, that is going to be the big day where we're going to be determining a new and a completely life. You can search for our times and more information. Give your step of faith because surely that God wants to change your life. Have a blessed week. May God bless you and see you here at the Universal Church. Bye-bye. This is your UCKG timetable, helping you to make a new beginning. Mondays, a meeting focused on achieving more in your financial life. Tuesdays, prayers for healing. Wednesdays, 
a meeting teaching you to develop in your spiritual life. Thursdays, a special prayer for the family. Friday, a service for your spiritual deliverance. Sundays, reconnect with God, the main meeting for your spiritual strength. This program is brought to you by UCKG.